friends, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to talk about how we can create a tangram. So our learning goal for today says, I can create a tangram puzzle. The materials that you'll need for this lesson are a pair of scissors. You'll need like one sheet of notebook paper or any paper that you have that's about a regular size sheet of paper, like an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And you'll need your problem set. If you don't have your problem set, that's absolutely okay. Just grab an extra few sheets of paper and we're gonna work on the problem set together. So make sure you have those things before you get started. All right, friends, if we look at this piece of paper right here, what shape is this paper? Yeah, it's a rectangle, right? So in order for us to work on this problem today, we need to turn this rectangle into a square. So for problem one, the first thing that you're going to do is we're going to turn this into a square. So the way that you do that is you're going to take this bottom corner right here and you're going to move it all the way up to the very top of your paper until it touches. Once it touches, then you're going to fold the crease straight down just like that. You have this rectangle piece right here that is left over. You're going to actually take your scissors and you're going to cut right there along that space to get rid of our rectangle. Then you'll have a piece of paper that's left like this. Okay, so make sure that you pause the video, fold your paper in half, you'll be left with these two pieces cut right here, so this goes away. Okay, so pause the video until you're left with just a piece that looks like this. All right, friends, so the next step that we have, we can take and we can draw a diagonal line inside the quadrilaterals. So if we do that, if we take right here, we're gonna draw a line right here. What two shapes do we have now? Yeah, we have two triangles, right? So what I want you to do now is you're going to cut along that diagonal line and you're going to end up with two triangles. So go ahead and pause the video, cut along that line until you have your two large triangles. All right friends, now that you have these two large triangles, you are going to look at your problem set and you're actually going to draw these two and label them. So you would draw what looks to be two larger triangles, and then you are going to write triangle on the inside of it. That is your label that you'll have. Okay, so pause the video, draw those on for problem one, and write triangle. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. So now we're gonna look at problem two for your problem set. Okay, so for problem two, you're gonna take one of your large triangles, so let's move this other one to the side, and we're gonna focus just on this one triangle right here. Okay, I want you to make sure that it's sitting the same way, just like I have, okay? And then we're going to fold it in half to make two equal sides and crease it. So we're gonna take it, and we're gonna fold all the way up to the other top corner, just like so, okay? Then we can open this up, okay? And then you're going to cut straight here on your crease. So go ahead and pause the video. You're gonna fold it in half, cut up the middle of the crease, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, make sure you pause it if you need more time. Otherwise, here's what you should have now, these two triangles, just like this. Which shapes, which smaller shapes is the big triangle composed of? So we have our big one, right? And what is that composed of or made up of? Yeah, two smaller triangles, right? There they are, okay? So now you're gonna pause the video and draw and label these two new shapes in number two. So pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, so our next step, we're gonna need this next large triangle. So make sure that you have it just like this in front of you. Okay, we're going to fold it in half first, like we did the last time. Okay, make those corners meet. And fold just like this. Now, we are not 
cutting yet, okay? So I want you to pause the video, fold it in half to make one crease, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. So now what we're gonna do is we see we have this crease that goes from here to here. So you're gonna take your pointy end of your triangle and you're going to fold it all the way up to where that crease is and touches the end of the other side. Don't go over, see how that sticks over? We're not going over. We're going right to the very edge. So stick it to the end and then you're gonna fold a crease across there as well, okay? Then you're going to open up and you're going to cut along here. Okay, so cut along this line right here. Okay, so again, fold up to the center crease, then open and cut along this crease. Okay, so pause the video, go ahead and do that step and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Here is what your shape should look like now. What shapes did we make? So what two shapes did we make here? Yeah, we have a quadrilateral, right? This is a quadrilateral or a trapezoid and we have a triangle. So those are the two new shapes that we made. So you're gonna pause the video, you're gonna draw these two shapes for problem three of your problem set and label them as either a quadrilateral and a trapezoid or a triangle. Okay, so pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. You're gonna take the trapezoid now. So here's our trapezoid. Okay, we are going to fold it in half and then cut on the fold. So we're gonna take it, make sure it's facing the same way that mine is, and you're going to fold straight there. Okay, and then you're going to cut along this crease right here, okay? So pause the video, fold straight so the corners and edges touch, and then cut on the crease, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here is our two new shapes. What two new shapes did we make? Yeah, they're quadrilaterals, right? Because they both have four sides. They're also known as a trapezoid. Okay, so you're gonna pause the video again and you're gonna draw these two new shapes for problem four on your problem set. And then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, we're gonna take one of our trapezoids and we're going to fold it at the longest point. So we're gonna take this point that's up here and we're gonna fold it all the way to the very edge and corner over here. Okay, then you make a crease. Okay, and then right here along this crease, you're going to cut. Okay, so you're gonna pause the video. You're gonna fold from the longest point all the way to the corner, make a crease, open and cut along the crease. And then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, what two new shapes did we make this time? Yeah, we made a triangle and a square. So go ahead and pause the video again, and you're gonna draw those two shapes and label them on problem five in your problem set. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, we are on to problem six. So we're gonna use our last trapezoid and we're gonna put the longest side across the bottom, like I just did here, okay? Then we're going to take this bottom corner, that's right over here, and we're going to take that, and we're going to bring it all the way up to this corner up here, okay? So take your corner, bring it all the way up, just like so, okay? So you're gonna pause the video, take this bottom corner, and you're gonna fold it all the way up to the top of this corner, and make a crease. And then you are going to cut along this crease right here. Okay, so pause the video, fold up, open, cut along the crease, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All 
All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so what two new shapes did we make this time? And we made a small triangle and we made a parallelogram. So you're gonna pause the video again, you're gonna draw just a quick sketch of these two new shapes and you're going to label them as a triangle and a parallelogram. So go ahead and pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, make sure you pause if you need more time. Okay, so here is the last part that we're gonna do for this, okay? So now I'm gonna challenge you to put your pieces back together to form the large square that we started with, okay? So that might be a little bit tricky, but you know what? Take your time, it's okay. Work to be able to put these pieces back together to make the large square. Now, before you forget, because I know we've done some cutting, so you might have some pieces to the side, you should have a total of seven pieces right now. Two large triangles, okay, one kind of medium triangle, two small triangles, your parallelogram, and your square. So make sure that you have all of those pieces before you get started. So pause the video, put your large square back together, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, so pause if you need more time. Otherwise, let's put it together. So I'm gonna slide this over to make some space. I'm going to take my two large triangles first and put them together just like that. I'm going to take my parallelogram and put it here. And then I'll take one of my small triangles and slide it in right there. Now, next comes my square. And put your square kind of on an angle. Then I take my other small triangle, put it in just like this. Let me flip it so it lays down a little bit for us. And then you take your medium triangle and label it or put it in just there. So that is how you put it back together. So you're going to recompose, right? So decomposing is where we took them and cut them apart into the smaller pieces and recomposing is bringing them back together into one large thing. So friends, you did a great job with that part. These seven pieces that form this large square are called a tangram. So you can make many different shapes with tangrams. If you wanna be able to challenge yourself and you have extra time today, you can actually look for some things online where it'll give you different shapes, maybe different animals that you can make with these tangrams. It's pretty cool to be able to have that opportunity to do that. So if you have extra time, go ahead and check that out. All right, sweet, you guys did an awesome job creating a tangram puzzle and analyzing the different shapes that were made. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends!